yes chaitanya right so today we are going to discuss about the new chapter and last and final chapter that is changes around us so once you see the picture uh in my background what happening there oh, yes what's happening in this picture ah uh, so here there is a small bud uh, and it slowly it's converting into the flower yes so is so there is some changing is taking place okay so changes around us can you give some examples what are the changes that occurs around us very good sunrise and sunset. sunrise and sunset very good so this very good so changes around us we can see so many changes around us so now now if we see in the evening it will be after one two hours it becomes night again in the morning if you see that's a day so the changing day and night right so here you can see the flowers if i put the seed so it is slowly growing and if you have one small brother if you see a small if you have seen small brother before 3 4 years back so he was little but now he might be grown up okay so so many things are changing around us so in this chapter we are going to discuss about the changes around us what are the changes are going around us and uh, how can we see it scientifically okay so that we are going to discuss today <coughs> right first let us see what is meant by the change change means what actually okay so change means uh, any alteration of a substance from its original shape size and state is called as a change means if there is one substance is there in that substance there is a alteration alteration means what uh, not original it will be changed okay there is a alteration in its maybe size maybe state maybe shape so if alteration takes place then that is called as a change okay so here yes so here we can see that every day we come across different types of changes like milk turns sour you know that if you keep the milk okay in morning you take the milk packet so that milk packet for example if you think if you don't put in the refrigerator you are not freezing and just you are pouring this milk and you are not boiling and you are keeping it in one vessel and keep it some time then what happens uh, if you come to fish in the afternoon or evening so that will become sour avuna so adem putundi paal virigi potayi kada so so that changes is taking place seed germinate so here you can see here this is the seed here we can see here this is the seed so the seed is kept inside the soil now it is germinating here and it giving the first leaf also okay so the seed is germinating so here also the change is taking place we have taken a small seed that small seed we are giving in the soil putting in the soil and we are pouring the water and you see some changes is going on in that and from that a small plant is raising okay so that's called germinating now the weather changes yes now we are in winter season almost ending winter season we are in february now yes now it is little bit cool but just one uh, one month after if you see then it starts the summer season and when you come to the april month it's too hot uh, to go out in the afternoon yes or no yes sir and now we are covering okay with the blankets and things uh, in the night we are not even switching on fan okay in this month now but after two months uh, you see that we switch on our acs we switch on our fans 
means what the weather is changing okay so this is change now fruit ripen fruit generally okay so what happens eh? they ripen ripen means what pandlu avutayi okay kaya becomes pandlu yes or no that also changing takes place so these all the things are changing that taking place around us is this clear to you very good boy so take the screenshot or write your wish very good boy now let's go to the now so what type of changes that takes place around us so around us so many changes will takes place and if you categorize them means what the if you divide them then you can see some of the desirable and some are undesirable what is in the desirable means the changes we require we want the changes okay so which useful to us they are called as a desirable for example if you take the milk and if you put a little curd in it then it becomes a okay curd it becomes curd that is desirable we want that curd so we eat it yes or no that is desirable so such desirable changes also taking place some undesirable means what to the milk sour i can just just now it said you know if you take the milk without boiling and if you keeping ah uh, so that milk becomes so that is undesirable to us okay so like desirable undesirable which are useful to us which are useless also but that happens now some slow and some fast reaction so some changes will take very fastly and some changes will take very slowly for example day and night so to day and night the gap is 12 hours so 12 hours day 12 hours night if you come to the seasons okay so almost to 4 4 months for one season yes or no right so some are like changing take place okay slowly some reactions will take place very fast right so for example if you take um, uh what the um, digestion of food also if you eat something so that is also getting digested means so food is changing so the digestion is taking place within hours some reactions will be taking place very fast also if you burn the paper if you take the burn the paper then paper will burn within seconds okay so some reactions are very slow some reactions are very fast now some are temporary some are of permanent what is the temporary and permanent there is some changes last relevant some changes take back to the yes yeah, some changes will be only for some time they changes again they come back okay after some time permanent change means what if once change they cannot be again get into back so they are called permanent changes right for example if you take the ice from the refrigerator and put outside so what happens so what happens it turns into water yes or no that turns into water now when you take uh, that is what uh, here again if you take the water and put in the refrigerator again it becomes ice for example normally if you take the uh, water water in the liquid state water in which state liquid state if you put inside the refrigerator so that becomes ice and this whether this ice will be permanently it will be like that only no once if you change from take from, from the refrigerator again it comes to its uh, yeah original shape so this is called a temporary for some time right and uh, permanent permanent means what uh, continuously if you take one wood or something just now i said paper if you are turning the paper while burning so it becomes ash can this ash again turn into paper no sir no now just now i said that milk gets sour or milk we converting into the curd can you convert the curd again into milk no so that is permanent okay so once it is changed so they completely change right then come to the reversible and irreversible of course temporary and uh, permanent we can give these names also reversible and irreversible 
permanent means what uh, for temporary means what for some time only that will be there the ch changing and again coming to original so in the reversible also the same thing okay if you take the water water in liquid state and if you put in the refrigerator that becomes ice again it comes to water like that so these are uh, reversible and reversible also similar to like temporary and uh, permanent changes and in this chapter mainly we are focusing on the physical and the chemical changes okay in this chapter mainly we are going to discuss on what the physical and the chemical changes so physical changes and chemical changes means what if the changes in physical properties such as shape size color etc then that is called as a physical changes and chemical changes means what if there is a change in the composition then that is called as a chemical change so this our main topic of this chapter is physical and chemical changes only okay that one by one we go now all these changes involve one or more substance there or each substance has to unique composition so this also all changes will be somewhere okay one or more substances they are involving and they are getting changed okay so that is here and here also in the picture also you can see here this side it is like summer so total it dried and it is like you know rainy or winter season so here you can see the greenery is there yes or no so like this slowly changing okay so that is about the change around us okay want to take the screenshot or right continue with your work yeah okay good now in this all this one by one we are going to study today okay chal desirable and undesirable just now i said that desirable means what which is useful to us and we desire means we want that change should be happen so that is called a desirable okay so we want that change so such type of changes are called desirable and desirable means what uh, i don't want to make to any one change but here the changes will be taking place so that are not useful to us or comes under the undesirable is this clear to you so uh, so see uh, the changes that we want uh, see uh, this is important we want we want to, to take place okay so we want to, to take place we want when we want to change because if it is useful to us okay so this should be if it is useful to us useful okay to us then we would like to change it okay such a changes are called desirable okay for living being such a changes are beneficial so for us such things are beneficial for example you see here this banana okay this banana is green in color it's not ripened and we can't eat that banana that will not that will not be the tasty that will not be the uh, you know sweet and that will be hard so now why what we want uh, we keep one or two days outside so the banana will be slowly changing into in the this condition now this condition we ready to eat now this we want actually and um, we kept one more day you think now what happens now this becomes like this completely repenting again it is not useful to us okay so from here to here this is desirable okay this is what uh, desirable means what we want this yes but this again we don't want this one okay so this we don't want we don't eat this one if banana turns into this color then we throw it okay so we don't eat so that is undesirable we don't want that but it's happening there yes so that is undesirable okay now so see here germination of seeds this is desirable to us you know that farmers will keep the so the seeds so that we are getting the food if the this changes will not take place the seeds do not germinate and they do not convert into the crop or they do not convert into the plants and trees so they do not give the fruits they do not give the rice uh, pulses to us uh, then we can't uh, live yes or no so we want that uh, change we want that change 
that seed should be germinated so we want that change so this is desirable ripening of fruit this is just only to do that ripening of fruit still here it is desirable and a change in the season yes this also we required so if it take always if it is summer so if most of the students what they think the small students uh, small children what the what they think is that are a summer we can get the holidays so many holidays in the summer so all it every time it will be like summer okay will be there so but we can't live yeah, it is ah it will be so hard if continuously the summer season only there then what happens all the water get evaporated from the earth and after few years uh, there will be no water will be present so we can't live yes or no yes, so that is uh, okay so yes yeah, seasons should be changed that is desirable we need the season should be changed so summer if it go in then it comes to the rainy season we will come the rainy season because farmers can sow the okay the crops um, and they give the food to us okay so like again it uh, keeps going and the winter season winter to summer so every season is useful to us so the changing of season are desirable we want that so these are some of the examples of a desirable changes okay now what are the undesirable changes the changes we would not want to occur okay why these are useless okay or sometimes uh, useless means what they are not useful to us that's all but sometimes uh, they may be loss also okay loss or harmful also okay harmful so to us so such but still the changes will be taking place so that is called that are called uh, undesirable changes right now example see sowing of mill sowing of milk actually we don't want okay we do not want to occur this sowing of milk okay but if you don't boil if you don't take care of that milk so that gets sour and we unnecessarily we throw that milk now next what uh, rusting of iron so see here here one bridge you can see okay so this bridge uh, okay might be when some when they are constructed this bridge uh, okay so it uh, lot of cost and a lot of efforts uh, lot of you know uh, okay uh, efforts are put on this um, okay work has done to construct this bridge which is made up of iron but uh, what happens due to okay moisture due to rainy all these things what's happening this is getting rusted rusted means what uh, slowly the iron is getting eaten means it's getting uh, spoiled and that is okay uh, getting eaten so what happens that is getting damaged and like this it happens some few years okay then what happens this total bridge get collapsed yes or no this total bridge get collapsed why due to the rusting okay so this we don't want we would not want to occur this bridge to collapse but this is happening due to the change okay in the moisture and rainy season due to that the changes are taking place so this is also undesirable change yes or no chaitanya yes sir ah now see a uh, rotting of fruits and vegetables so this is called a rotting okay rotting of fruits and vegetables and the post global warming this also already i think we discussed so global warming okay this also actually we don't want that and almost all throughout the world all the scientists and almost all the countries they are trying to reduce the global warming they are taking the steps to reduce the global warming every year they are arranging some meetings what need to be done what changes to be what steps to be taken to reduce the global warming so this all um, are comes under the undesirable is this clear to you so these are undesirable these are desirable okay chalo no do not take the screenshot you wish so now let's come to the next type of changes or what a slow and fast changes so slow means what which are taking a long period to take the change to happen the change 
and fast changes means what we start doing quickly the, they are undergoing the changes. So, see a, the change will take place in a long period of time ok, yes changes taking place, but it is taking so much time. So, they are called as a long period of time slow changes and example is what rusting of iron. So, just now in the previous slide I have shown to you about the rusting of iron. So, today we constructed the bridge tomorrow does it take the rust? No, it will take some years, yes or no? So, this is a slow uh, uh, reaction or slow changes. Now, formation of day and night and of course, this also taking like 12 hours ok, for every 24 hours we are changing ok, from night one night and uh, one day of course, this also considered the slowly only. Uh, repairing of fruits, this also in the previous slide I have told you that. So, we are taking the banana from this stage to come it will take one day to this one and to come to two days has come to three days. So, it is also taking slowly only. So, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours like this it is taking. So, next uh, ok, growing of trees also slow changes ok. So, growing of trees also, trees also it will take so many days even growing of human beings also. Yes or no? Ah, now, we are in 7th class, 7th class means almost you, you are 11 years nearly or 11 years might be or 11 years completed. So, since 11 years you are grown up to might be here this height to me ok. If I take my height you might be here or here ok. So, you took 11 years to uh, grow this much, 11 years is a long time yes or no. So, this is also comes under the slow change right. So, uh, these are slow changes and the changes which takes place in short period of time. So, this is a long period, this is a short period. So, it takes place in short period of time, they are called as the fast changes. Example, burning of paper, just now I told you that burning of paper, if you take one paper and if you burn it, so that comes in, that becomes an ash, hardly it will take 10 seconds to 15 seconds. So, within 10 to 15 seconds, not even minutes, within 10 to 15 seconds that is changing. So, here you can see we are burning the paper here. So, the paper is burning into changing into the ash and it is taking within seconds. So, that is what it is considered as a fast reaction. Stretching of rubber band. So, if you take the rubber band ok. So, rubber band is like uh, for example, you think we have some 5 centimeters of rubber band. Now, you hold it ready 1, 2, 3 stretch it ok. So, now see this becomes this much yes or no. So, if you are taking how many seconds? Hardly 1 or 2 seconds, just you are applying 1 or 2 seconds time. So, within 2 seconds it is stretching. Again, if you leave it within 1 second, it comes to its original shape. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Ah, so, here it is taking very fast. Now, blowing of balloon, ok. So, we are blowing the balloon, take the balloon and blow the air into that one, and of course, you can take some seconds or 1 or 2 minutes, you can take. So, 1 or 2 minutes is also like fast only. So, here also the reaction or the change is taking place little bit faster. Then come to the bursting of crackers, yeah this is very fast. So, when you take the cracker, Lakshmi bomb or ok, bomb will be there, just you light it then explode ok, within fraction of seconds it will get exposed. So, this is the uh, ok, fast reaction, yes or no fast changes. So, here the reaction the changes, some reactions are very slow, some reactions are faster. So, faster means what which are taking within seconds or minutes, they are considered as the fast reactions which are taking place hours, days, years, months, they are called as the slow reaction, slow changes. Is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Sure. Right now, this one also. Very good. Now, temporary and permanent. As I already told you that temporary means what? If there is a change for a small ok period of time, after that period again it comes to its original position or original shape ok. So, that is called a temporary, but permanent means what? Once if it changes takes place, 
that will be like that only we cannot change it ok. So, that is called as a permanent change. So, here I give an example like melting of ice. So, see a temporary changes means what the changes that is only for a short period of time. The change will be only short period of time yes. Now, for example, if you take the ok generally temporary changes are reversible reaction. Reversible means what again get back to us ok. So, if you take the water, water normally water is the liquid state and this you freeze it. So, put in the refrigerator. So, freezing then it becomes a ice. Now, as long as you put in the refrigerator it will be ice only, but when you once you bring the ice out of this refrigerator again we are getting our water. So, meaning is water, water is uh, only for short period of time ok, only the period for which we putting in the refrigerator for that particular period only the water is in the ice means solid state. Once if you take out that condition again it coming to its original shape. So, that is called the temporary, temporary means what only for a short period of time. Permanent change means what once if it is changed. So, here just now I explained about the rusting. So, here it is a chain which is made up of iron. So, with this iron if you keep over a long period. So, what happens um, in the moisture or uh, water? So, it becomes rust. If once it get rusted can you again change it to pure iron this one? Yes. No, you cannot uh, change. So, once if it get rusted, rusted. So, permanent changes are changes which remains for longer time and are not reversible and are not reversible. Example, rusting of iron. Clear? Yes, no doubt. done ok. So, I think for today this is the last topic for today and then we go to the next changes. So, here today's for last one is reversible and irreversible. So, reversible is nothing better like a temporary change. So, just now we discussed temporary change means what uh, for over a period of small short period of time the change will takes place and that uh, remains as it is. But after that particular period of time and the conditions changes again it comes back to its original position. So, that is called as a reversible and irreversible means what uh, if once the substance is changed ok into some other substance or into other form. Now, again it cannot be changed into come back it cannot be come back to its uh, original shape. So, this is called a irreversible. So, reversible and irreversible. So, see here a change that can happen backward. So, see here that can happen backward means for example, if you are taking the water ok. If you are freezing this becomes ice and if you are boiling then that becomes vapor ok. Now, if you change this ice, now see this is arrow mark again it is going back. Now, here arrow mark is going this side, again it is going back ok. So, many is what we can change the ice into water. Now, here water is converting into vapor, again if you cool the vapor, again it coming to it changes into water like you know the rain ok. So, in the vaporized water only can be converted into rain water yes or no? Ah, so, here this water is converting into ice this is called as the freezing ok and ice is converting into the water is called melting. What it is called? Melting. Now, water is converting into the vapor is called boiling ok and uh, vapor is converting into the water is called condensation. What it is called? 
ah, condensation. So, here freezing is opposite, okay, so backward of melting and boiling is backward of condensation. So, if you take the water, water on freezing it becomes ice, ice on melting again it comes to water. So, it is going in that way again coming back. If you are in the morning, if you are going to the school, again you are coming to home, okay. From home you are going to school and school you are coming to back. So, this is reversible process. So, again water, if you are boiling, water is converting into the vapor. Again, if you cool the water, vapor, again that will be converting into the water. So, this is also again coming back. So, which is backward reaction, it happened in both directions, okay. So, this is called um, reversible changes. So, example you see, if you keep water in freezer for some time, it transforms into ice. So, water we are keeping in the refrigerator or we are freezing, so that turns into ice. But as soon as you take it out of the refrigerator, immediately when you take that after becoming the ice and you are taking out, um, then it turns into water again, again it is turning into the water. So, this is reversible change, reversible backward change, okay. Similarly, if you boil water, it vaporates. So, see here, this is the water, we are boiling, so it becomes vaporizes and becomes a water vapor. When you cool this vapor down, it turns back to water. Again, if you okay, cool that vapor, it again it comes to water. So, water in which direction, if it is going in this direction, means towards the, to make a ice, again it come back to us. So, if it is going towards the vapor, again it come back to us. So, these are the backward reaction is taking place. So, reversible reaction in both the direction, okay. So, this is called a reversible change. What is irreversible change? A change which cannot happen backward, okay. That is, it cannot be reversed, it cannot be reversed, then that is called irreversible. For example, when you burn a piece of paper, when you are burning a piece of paper, it turns to ash, it turns to ash. Now, can you convert that ash and again into paper? No. So, now it cannot become paper again. Now, see one more important interesting. Your height cannot be decreased, yeah, day by day, just now we are discussing about the height. So, yes. from 6 years you are uh, growing till here, next year you may come here, next year you will come here. So, like this you may grow up to 6 feet, okay, so up to 18 to 19 years you will continuously you will grow, but slowly, but you will grow, okay. Again, uh, if you want to become smaller, you think that hey, when I become, when I was small, so I used to enjoy the childhood. So, I can used to with the play with my friends and everything. Again, you want to become a smaller. Will you become a smaller? No, sir. No. So, your height cannot decrease. This is irreversible change. Irreversible means what? That cannot be come back again. So, that is called irreversible changes. They cannot be reversed at all. So, we cannot change them into back. Such type of reactions are called irreversible changes. Is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Tell all right, take the screenshot or write this one. Ha, huh. but you have to write all this thing in the classwork, in your notebook. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Hmm. Very good. So, now this all like introduction for this chapter. But our main concept of this chapter is physical change and chemical change, okay. So, that in the next class I am going to start the physical change and chemical change and in this chemical change we will have some chemical reactions also. So, for that you need to learn some elements, atoms, symbols you should learn, okay. That we will discuss in the next classes, okay. Okay, Chaitanya, bye.